everybody welcome back to the rebel chums channel the custom lightsaber review channel on the youtube today we're gonna do a um a, a quick look back on ultra sabers as in the real truth of ultra sabers there has been some videos made over time on the internet and i just want to give my opinion about ultra sabers and what i think of them in their current state um so first and foremost um let me just start off what my experiences are with ultra sabers so far um, in the past you have seen the videos maybe already on my channel I have done some reviews on some ultra sabers and uh, unfortunately um, when I was new to the hobby I wasn't really that much informed about the pros and cons and uh, the different technologies used and uh, basically I just really did not do much research and uh, about ultra sabers first and foremost is the price very important the price 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 if you're new to the hobby alter stabers um i'm gonna keep saying it alter stabers is the one of the best places to go to um, just grab a grab pack uh, don't spend more than 55 60 dollar maximum get some uh, stun sabers from them and you are seated um if it's for kids uh, go for an ultra sabers uh, just a cheap one if you want to be there for spinning just go for ultra sabers um so that's what I did. I, I bought two Ultra Saber Sabers. The very first one that I actually ever reviewed on my uh, YouTube channel was this uh, Ultra Sabers uh, Dominic's uh, version 4. I still have it. And uh, the other hilt was a, um, I forgot what it was from Ultra Sabers. That one is no longer in my possession. I got rid of it. Uh, but this hilt is still here. It has probably quite severely beat up by now. Um, as you can see, <laughs> it's definitely uh, has seen some use. It currently has some uh, paper in here. I will explain it in a second, but uh, it, it's definitely being used quite significant. Uh, the pommel is pretty much skewed. The reason for that uh, being that it, I've been using this uh, saber a lot for spinning without a uh, uh, without electronics inside. Again, getting a hilt like this for thirty US dollar or less and then use it for spinning even without electronics is ideal because it's a very comfortable uh, hilt it's very economic and there are not much options out there to just get an empty hilt for 25 to 50 dollar empty and have this kind of quality it's it's sturdy it's really sturdy it's a, a very solid piece thick uh, alloy it's heavy it's it's definitely durable um, so I'd absolutely praise them for that. The only thing uh, that I had issues with from the start and the get go, I immediately noticed uh, without knowing much about lightsabers that uh, the retention screw that is missing on any ultra sabers, they just don't drill a hole and don't put a retention screw in there for the LED, is causing massive issues because the LED unit is free floating if you have like a plastic guarded switch which i had on both my stun sabers that led will just crushing down on the guarded switch the internal plastic treading which is uh, basically inside here where i put my finger to showcase um the blade will for example fall on the tip it will have a vertical impact it pushes the blade down it pushes the led unit down on the uh, guarded switch and that's why often the guarded switch will break and you have that piece of plastic falling off and your guarded switch doesn't work anymore so if you're wondering why that is that's because there's no led retention screw holding the LED unit in place and I still don't understand why Ultra Sabers still don't offer that as an, an added feature because everything that Ultra Sabers offers on their, uh, face, uh, on their website is an add-on so you can have a sound vented pommel, you can have a different switch, you can have different internals, everything is add-on, everything can be done and choose separately which is also a good thing but None of them has an option to have a retention screw drilled in there and, and have your LED secured. Because if Ultra Sabers did that, I would definitely buy a lot more Ultra Sabers. And that's also the main reason why you don't see me doing a lot of Ultra Sabers uh, reviews. It's just simply, simply because it doesn't have an LED unit retention screw. And I don't have the means and the tools to do it myself. I live in Hong Kong, I live in a very small house as you can see there is no space for me to actually have all that stuff in there. So I buy my hilt ready to, to use and that's why um, a lot of times I go to Saber Forts. And it also comes down to another thing is aesthetics. 
I uh, think a lot of the Ultra Sabers designs, that's for me personally, are too bland. They have, for example, they have the outer features of a very cool lightsaber, but beyond that, it's just not much going on. They're very typical, bland and empty. And even with the high-end uh, hilts, it's the same to me. Um, for example, the Graflex or the, um, the, the, I forgot, the Vader Saber or uh, a lot of those sabers i just they have the contours they have the the, the 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 outer layers going on you can see it's definitely being a cool saber but it miss all the intricate details etc there's not much appealing or interesting for me going on and that's for me the aesthetic part that's why I'm not doing so much ultra sabers review but I do know a lot of people actually like that they don't want to have a lot of bits on it they want to have a more simple looking hilt they want to have it ergonomic they want to have it sturdy and those people love the ultra sabers plus they like the sizing now for example this is the Dominic's uh, app this is the Dominic's Fortune 4 and then uh, here I have my Vader's Vault Combat Class Havoc next to it and you can see it's a massive difference that to me is also quite significant because for me I am very keen on the design and the aesthetics for most and also the ergonomics and the hilt um, construction now with these faders uh, faders fold hilts they're perfectly constructed very good uh, well designed for ultra sabers they're fine as well they're very sturdy etc for example compared to a saber forge saber forge can be a little bit spotty with certain saber forge sabers they look fantastic but they're glued together they have sharp edges and sometimes they have a very weird design Shrouds that have been held in place with one retention screw, for example, uh, weird pommel designs. Uh, you've seen that probably on my YouTube uh, channel already. But um, from that aspect, yes, uh, the Ultra Sabers has a lot better hill designs, a lot more sturdy, better for dueling. Um, but yeah, they don't look very cool uh, to me, and that's uh, it's a little bit unfortunate. Now, there are, of course, there's a lot of benefits on Alter Sabers as well. They can deliver very fast. They can deliver within two, three days and you have your lightsaber after doing a payment, which is uncanny uh, with any saber smith out there. Uh, you get it super fast and that's for a lot of people very important because they, uh, for example, uh, need, it, need some sabers fast for an event or whatnot and Alter Sabers can deliver that. Plus their website is very intuitive to actually buy stuff from them. A um, few things that I I do recommend for Ultra Sabers or don't recommend as well is don't go for the more expensive options. Don't go beyond 200 US dollar for an Ultra Sabers because that is defeating the purpose of having an Ultra Sabers and I don't think their higher end stuff is worth it. Beyond 200 dollar um, it's up to you of course it's your wallet and it's your choice but I personally think the Emerald driver and the um, all their soundboards they have with with the AA battery and the uh, the, the, the battery holder basically uh, glued on it's it's such a weak design it's so easy broken it's uh, the, the materials used are very thin brittle plastics and a lot of people say, oh, I have no issues with it and blah, 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 blah. And that's fine. If you don't have issues with it, well, then maybe I got a lot of bad streaks. But I do quite a, a bit of uh, heavy spinning. And as you can see, it doesn't always relate, uh, translate very well. The saber falls a lot. So that's also I have to say uh, something about my skill set as, as spinning. Um, but the other hand, I wish they did a better design because their uh, hill designs are quite big so they should have a lot bigger um, inner chassis that's really snug fit and then doesn't rattle and move around um, they could okay they could do a lot better they are making a lot of business uh, a lot of business they are making a lot of money uh, Emery from uh, Alta Sabers he makes a shit ton of money and he could do more to improve his products to the next level because I've been talking to him two years ago about the uh, retention screws and he said yeah it's a good idea same for the chassis uh, just get a cheap ass chassis or you know Ultra Saber is a mass-produced 
brand anyway so you can mass produce a nice chassis and then the cost to produce them should be a lot lower because you're gonna poop out like a few hundred sabers per week at least for your thousands probably and you no know, it really helps to prolong the long longevity of your overall uh, satisfaction from your customers because their products uh, remains to work a lot longer uh, that being said a lot of people say also say they don't have any issues so um, maybe it's just me but in in general I think Alto Sabers definitely has their place and they definitely offer some very unique options for example the grab bags very good idea you pay $55 and you get a saber with an LED and battery and uh, latching switch included and you get a color you don't know what you're gonna get it's uh, it's a surprise it's exciting it's like a kinder surprise egg you don't know what's inside and that's no, that buys into that fact that you want to keep buying stuff and maybe you get a high-end saber one time and maybe not but that's that's the uh, that's the appeal to it um, for me I, I I really try to to really like some of the hill designs but mostly I just cannot like them it's just too big too bulky uh, for half of their saber uh, 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 lineup and they're just m lacking the details and the stuff that I want to see in a saber the other half are perfectly sized they're more similar size to the uh, faders holes for example that you see here so it's not like they're all that massive but um, still they don't look very appealing to me then they look so plain it's either silver or all black there's no weathering options no customization options no nothing and people say yeah you can customize yourself you can put tape on it and o-rings on it and maybe a leather wrap but i don't think that's really considered customizing your saber by just shoving over some o-rings uh, again sorry if i um offend you but that's that's just not that's not customizing a lightsaber to me by putting o-rings on it uh this, this is not my thing uh, but then again, that's not my thing. So again, it's my opinion, not yours, of course. So yours may be very different. But yeah, the Ultra Saves does have his place. Like if I need to get some sabers for some kids, um, like for my son, for my son um, I will first look at Ultra Sabers. Just a grab rack, uh, a nice blade, and let him uh, just uh, yeah, just play around with the saber and uh, and just have fun. Now the only thing is, my, in the back of my mind, especially with kids, I would say. The Ultra Sabers have this plastic latching switch, the LED that's loose and a very brittle battery pack. Um, so even for small kids they might even break it quite fast. So that brings me to my next thing. I think Ultra Sabers are the best for the hills for the durability and their uh, just base, basic beefiness of the hills. They're very good for what they are. The hills are nearly undestructible tanks. They're big, they're chunky, in in a lot of cases, not all of them, of course, and they uh, basically can withstand a lot. And um, if you put your own electronics in there, then you have a quite a good killer combination. Uh, you can make them super durable. Uh, then you have like a super good spinning saber with a good uh, solid chassis, uh, momentary switch, nice uh, tri-cree LED. Of course, you need to install it yourself or have somebody to install it for you. But then you can make a very, very sturdy uh, stunt saber, basically. Plus, it's also a good way to get into the uh, custom saber smithing um, uh, hobby by buying. So my predict on Alter Sabers is that it's a very easy to find company. They're very big. They're very good for the entry level saber market. So if you're new to custom sabers and you just want to buy some sabers and just see and touch wood and see find out if the hobby is something for you or not then yeah you can definitely start off with alter sabers um some people swear with alter sabers they just think they're the the best thing out there and they buy the the more expensive uh, offerings from 300 400 500 600 us dollar now i don't per se agree that is a very wise choice to do but if you do so and you're happy with it i'm happy as well but yeah, I personally won't be doing that. Um, so again, 
I'm sorry that you don't see too many Ultra Sabres reviews on my channel and that's mainly because I said it's just the hill designs don't really appeal to me just the aesthetics the missing LED retention screw hole and overall yeah it's just um, I'm a little bit outgrown Ultra Sabres it doesn't mean that uh, Ultra Sabres isn't for uh, the more novice uh, lightsaber collector not at all it's just for me personally i outgrow ultra sabers quite early and i'm looking now at different uh, different i'm looking for different elements in the hilt and the lightsaber and the overall package so again um Ultra Sabers is a fine company if you are uh, looking for budget lightsabers. I would say don't go beyond $200 maximum. That's my personal opinion again. Um, I don't think it's worth beyond that pricing. But before that 200 range and you need somebody, uh, some lightsaber quickly shipped to you, also equally important, then Ultra Sabers might be still the best choice for you. So. I hope you liked the video. Uh, please leave, leave your comments in the in the, the comment section of this video. Please keep it polite um, because um, people have different opinions and people probably have some discussion with you or your opinion in the comments. So please keep it nice and um, we're gonna enjoy the hobby even further. So I hope you liked the video and as always, uh, stay scummy.